start off with general statements from uh, Coach Amy Champion, who's our, now our athletic director, and Mark Schlesinger, our new men's head basketball coach. After we do general statements up here, they'll split for one-on-one -on -one interviews. And of course, I uh, want to remind everyone at 4 o'clock, uh, Marco Perez over at Lakefront Arena and our athletic department will be teaming up for a meet and greet, which will be open to the community. Again, that's going to be at 4 o'clock over in the privateer room at Lakefront Arena on our east campus. Um, in addition to that, other information, we'll send out a press release probably an hour from now. I should have handed it to all the media, but if y'all don't have it, just let me know. Uh, but we'll lead off with our athletic director in her uh, first year, first full year, I guess, here at UNO, Amy Champion. Should have brought a smaller notebook up here. Well, first of all, I want to thank everyone for being here. This is an extremely, extremely important day for us. Uh, it's an important day for this university and our department. And again, thank you very much uh, for coming. One of the first things I'd like to do is send a big, big thank you uh, to our search committee. They all sacrificed many hours of their time, and I greatly, greatly appreciate their efforts. Agreeing to be a part of this hiring showed their character and dedication to the university and UNO athletics. These individuals need to be recognized. My internal staff, Ola, Jason, Sherry, Paula, Angela, and others of real significance, Mike Sapira, our PAF president, Dr. James Lowry, Athletic Council and Department of Geography Chair, Dan Harper, Associate Director for Interdisciplinary Studies, Marco Perez, General Manager for Lakefront Arena, Keyshawn Carter, Head Women's Basketball Coach, Kim Young, Head Volleyball Coach, Margaret Royer, Director of the RIS and University Center, Gary Willis, Director of Airmark Food Services, Mike Broninger, Director of Student Housing, Andy Benoit, Director of Admissions, Betty Dowenhauer, Deputy Director of Human Resources, and Dr. Joe King, our Provost and Acting Chancellor. University administrators here with us today as well who were also uh, involved in this process, Linda Roberson, Vice Chancellor for Financial Services, Mike Dowenhauer, Assistant Vice Chancellor. Let's give these guys a round of applause. They were very, very active in this process. Today is a great day in UNO Athletics. I have the pleasure of introducing Mark Schlesinger, our new head men's basketball coach. Mark comes to us from Northwestern State University where he was the top assistant recruiting coordinator for the past 11 years. Mark's track, rec track record as an assistant and head coach speaks volumes. His proven success with student athletes on and off the court supports his unique ability to connect not only with student athletes but campus administrators, boosters, and community members. Having recruited, signed, coached, and graduated players from all corners of Louisiana and proven experience in building programs, Mark knows what it takes to build a championship program and be a contender in this state and region. Without further delay, a welcome to the UNO family, Coach Mark Schlesinger. Congratulations. Very, very proud. Very proud. Thank you. Well, first and foremost, uh, before anything else, get Channel 4 situated here. First and foremost, I want to take the opportunity to thank uh, our Chancellor, Dr. King, uh, for his uh, vision during this search, our Athletic Director, Amy Champion, her staff, the Selection Committee, uh, for their faith in me uh, throughout this entire process. Uh, this is just uh, an unbelievable day. Uh, for myself, it's just, it's just mind-boggling. Before I begin, though, I want to uh, tell everybody here how excited I am, first and foremost, to be a citizen of uh, the city of New Orleans. Uh, it's, it's one of the, America's greatest treasures. Uh, it's, it's a city that uh, speaks volumes worldwide, culturally, historically, everything. And, and that's a huge, huge uh, piece of why I came down here, was a chance to be a, me a member of the city of New Orleans and a citizen. Um, in my, uh, on a personal note, it's a big, big thing that I had my greatest recruiting experience uh, and my greatest recruiting uh, victory in the city of New Orleans. Uh, January, or sorry, July 26, 2005, everybody's been to Louis Armstrong Airport one way or another. 
go down the escalator, baggage carousel number three. I go down, I see a beautiful girl standing there at the baggage carousel. I flip on my charm switch a little bit and uh, introduce myself when we start talking. And uh, before you know it, I had convinced her to go out on a first date with me. And that led to uh, having a woman that leads the league in patience, for sure, every year. And my beautiful wife, uh, Tony Schlesinger. So, good to have her here. So some of you guys, uh, media guys, I'll be more than happy to tell you the secrets of how to do that. But it'll cost you, Hunter, you're, I'm gonna, it's going to cost you lunch at Sammy's down on Elysian Fields if you want the secrets of how to do it. So just letting you know, I'm putting you on the spot. So as I said before, my wife and I are honored to be a, uh, citizens of the city. It's a city that took Mother Nature's greatest hit and came back and has fought back and is better, bigger and better and greater and will redefine itself again. Uh, it's redefining itself while holding on uh, to so many of its great traditions, its history, and its culture. We're at that same point with UNO basketball. We're redefining ourselves as an athletic department. We're redefining ourselves as a program. We're transitioning into Division II. We're transitioning into one of the most elite Division II conferences in the country in the Gulf South Conference. We are going to redefine what we are and redefine ourselves as a program. We, we as the same time, are going to hold on to our history. We're going to celebrate our history and our past. You go look back at the history and you think of Coach Green taking two back-to-back -back teams to the NCAA Division II Final Four. 74 finishing fourth, 75 the national runner-up. You think of Coach Floyd in the 90s, Coach Dees in, in 87 getting to the second round of the NCAA Division I tournament. You think about Coach Price in 96 taking the team to the NCAA tournament. We have such a great, rich history of great players from Irvin Johnson, Gabe Corciani, Wayne Cooper, Bo McCaleb, Liddell Eccles, Melvin Simon, who's here finishing his degree. So we've got a great, great, rich past to draw on and to grow from. Uh, I'm Mike Hill is here, who, who I'm, I'm glad to, to see made it, Mike. And part of that history that Mike, I, I've tried to talk him out of it, but Mike wants me to bring back the blue and white candy striped pants that they wore in the horror chambers uh, during the 70s and 80s, and I've tried to talk him out of it three or four times, but on turn back the clock night, we may do it, so, so be ready for that, Mike. So, our university's evolving and redefining like I talked about. We're moving into the University of Louisiana system, which is a great move for our university. It, it, it's gonna enhance our great academic history. Uh, the fact that we're one of the top urban research universities in the nation, we have some of the top educators produced consistently out of this university. Our world-renowned jazz program, our film uh, program and film school ranks in the top every year. Our research and development in this university is top-notch. We're going to move into a great part of this university and the system. A lot of times when people see me and pass me, they'll ask me how I'm doing and, and how my day is going. And every day I tell them I'm living the dream. For the last 15 years as a college coach, I've lived the dream. And today is a culmination of that dream. So it's a great, great day for me. My mom and dad always told me to work your hardest, have a great attitude, and, and, and everything will happen for you. Coach McConathy was one of my great influences. That was the head coach at, the, at Northwestern State University. I had the honor to work under for 11 years. He always says, bloom where you planted. And so for 11 years, Northwestern, Coach McConathy, our university, our staff, allowed me to bloom and grow and get the, the information and, and, and that I needed to grow and, and get me to this point. During that time, a huge piece of that success was I've been able to grow and see student athletes come in and recruit them from prospective student athlete to student athlete to graduate to adult citizen and to workforce. And it's awesome to be able to see the whole process over 11 years. My goal is to do the same thing here at the University of New Orleans. I'm in no hurry to go. This is where my home is. This is where I want to be. This is where I want to build a championship level program that competes nationally on a national level all the time at the NCAA Division II level. I want to go back to the history that we had in the 70s and 80s and become a winner. It's important that we have that. When I talked about seeing guys go from student athlete 
to, to recruit to student athletes and living. I, I got the great examples here. Ryan DuPlessis, proud St. Augustine graduate, played for us at Northwestern. Kerwin Forges, John Eric Patriot, uh, coached by legendary Reggie Frelo, uh, is here today, and that's, a, that's an unbelievable thing for, the, for him to be here. Uh, Byron Allen and Tyrone Mitchell, two of our other former players, are en route. So uh, I'm glad Colby and Chris were able to make it uh, as our current student athletes down to the press conference today. But they're, they're, they're the example and they're the finished product. So I'm blessed to be able to have them here. I want to touch a little bit about our program. We're a program that's going to work every day to have academic accountability. We're going to work every day to teach academic work ethic. We're going to work every day to have academic excellence. Every day is a battle. Academics is a, is a part of, of building habits. At Northwestern State, in our 11 years, we graduated 85% of our student athletes. Highest in the state and one of the highest in the nation. So it's something we're really proud of. Our recruiting focus is going to be to recruit the best student athletes from the city of New Orleans and the state of Louisiana. For the recruiting coordinator for 11 years there, I had 71% of our rosters were composed of Louisiana kids. Our base is here. There's a magic synergy that comes together when you get a lot of kids from this state together that play. I, I can't describe it. I can't tell you what it is. But when you get guys together from this state that play together, championships are born. And so for me, that's a huge piece of it. We're going to get the best student athletes from here that we can. From a basketball perspective, the most clear and concise vision of what we're going to do, our system will be team. Our culture is going to be hardworking. Our philosophy will be defensive focused. Our play is going to be aggressive. Our style will be up tempo. We're going to get up and down the floor. And our trademark will be playing hard. So in a concise census, that's going to be us. Because this is a huge occasion, I want to thank some people that have helped me get to this point. Obviously, my mentor and boss, Mike McConathy, my boss and, and mentor in Arizona, Richard Zielinski, the late Leonard Drake, James Lancaster, Jay Brown and Ron Heklinski, my high school coaches, Dave Simmons, Jeff Moore, Johnny Stell, and Jake Wonders, all guys I worked with, and our student athletes that I had the honor and pleasure to coach. I want to wrap up by talking about the program and where we're going to go. We have a dynamic campus. We got great faculty, great staff, students that deserve an energized, engaged athletic department. And I guarantee you we're going to deliver that. Not just for men's basketball, but we're going to deliver it as a, as a department. We're going to give the student athletes on this campus and the ones that live off this campus an energized, engaged athletic department that they can connect with. We're going to put a product on the floor that the city of New Orleans will be proud of. We're going to put a product on the floor that's going to give their best effort all the time. For me, each day when in, the, in the hiring process, when I talk to Coach Champion in the selection committee, I talk to them about winning one or two fans every day. I said, we have to take UNO to the city. We can't wait for the city to come to UNO. And so each day, my goal here is to go out and win somebody for the university, win somebody for our program. Yesterday was a crazy day. It was an, it was an awesome day. I had a chance to get around the city a little bit, see high school coaches, get to some games, call all of our student athletes that are here, do a lot of stuff. I left St. Augustine High School last night about 8 o'clock, uh, leaving the gym. And I thought to myself as I cranked up my car, I said, have I really won somebody today? And so I left St. Augustine on AP2 row and went around the corner. And I went to see Miss Ruby Frelo. Great lady. 85 years old. And a picture of what New Orleans is. And I asked her a question. I said, would you be my first season ticket holder? And she said, yes. And so I said, you got it. And so that's what we're going to be about. We're going to be about taking our program and our university out to the city. We're going to bring the city up here to the lake. And we're going to make it work. And we're going to build something one person at a time. And it's going to happen a little bit, a little bit, and a little bit every day until we're playing at a championship high level in a national level that everybody here can be proud of and that this city can hang its hat on and say that's what we're about.
So I thank all you guys for being here. I'm, I'm, I couldn't be more humbled that everybody came. I couldn't be more humbled that the amount of media came uh, to be here. So um, with that, I'll, I'll bring up Jason and let him fire away. I'm sure he's got plans. So thank you guys so much. And again, thank you.